I think James Erskine's done a, done a great job. I mean, it, was, um, it's, it spans probably seven, eight years of the game of rugby going from amateur to professional. So it was a pretty amazing time for English rugby. So to actually see it, you, you forget many things, you kind of move on. It's 12 years ago, so it's just a big reminder about a lot of the stuff that happened. A lot of it was good, a lot of it wasn't so good, but it's a, it's a real factual event of how to create a, a winning team. Yeah, to be honest, my initial views was kind of no, because you've kind of done it, you've ticked the box, you move on, and we've all moved on. But then I met with James Erskine, who showed me, you know, also showed some of the films he'd made, and some of the films he'd made are brilliant, and they, you know, really helped their sport. And I started to really think about it, and I've really enjoyed it, you know, um, to reflect, look back, see some footage I'd never seen before from behind the scenes. I don't know where they got it from. Um, and it was just good to reflect on that period of your, your life and it was a big period of a life you know it wasn't all successful we had some pretty traumatic times as well and i think he's done a great job i've only watched it once and i, I really did enjoy it. i just hope all sports fans like it not just rugby fans. i'm sure rugby fans will love it no matter which country you come from i think they'll find it quite fascinating to see especially the players wilkinson johnson dawson these guys what they're really made of hopefully sports fans will like it as well no matter what sport you do they'll start to understand what it what it takes to try and win at the, the very very top level Absolutely. and i mean what was it like in the stadium that day i mean that that final it was so, it's such a like i mean it's a world world famous final now what was the feeling in that stadium like yeah, you time? remember I, I just honestly i remember walking out you know you often stadiums fill up the last 10 15 minutes this wasn't like that you you kind of walked out and there's probably about an hour and a quarter to kick off and normally the stadium is quite empty the stadium was totally full and you know, 60% were in white shirts, and we're in Sydney, and you're just going, wow, you know, I know we're crazy, the English, we're nuts on sport. So suddenly you've filled, you know, half the stadium is in there an hour and a quarter before the kickoff, just going nuts, just because we walked out onto the pitch. So that's my abiding memory. Outside of that, you're really trying to do your job. You, you can't get carried away with the emotion. And I was just chuckling, thinking only the English could do this. Only the English could fill a stadium on the far side of the world. Uh, in a sporting event. Only we could do that. I don't think any other country could do that. We're just mad. Our, our fans are amazing. And it was just amazing to be in charge of this team. But, you know, the game, you know, if, if we'd not won that, it would have been, you know, a bad, bad night. We weren't there to be in the final. We, we had one objective, was to win it. So seeing all those white shirts just made it a bit, a bit more kind of, OK, let's really focus here, guys. We've, we've just got to win this game. And what do you think? Is there any... Is there any particular message in this movie? Oh, I think the message in the, in the movie is, you know, the game of rugby and I think most businesses about people, you know, it's, it's a people business. You've, you've, in a team games, it is about great individuals, great teams. And, you know, it's, there's, there's nothing changed. If you want to run a successful sport, successful business, the lessons are clear. You've got to throw the kitchen sink about, at it. You, you need every individual to take a lot of responsibility for what's going on. It is, it is a team, but I think great teams are made of great individuals, and that's always been my mantra, and this, I think, film just, just proves that.